Hi, I'm Brian Mark Taylor, and I'm gonna show you how to assemble the Mark II mast. So it comes in, in two pieces, and you've got these uh, top and bottom uh, canvas holders. So undo the two uh, wing nuts here. And, and what you do is you take the connector bar and you place the connector bar on these uh, two screws. Then you just uh, tighten the wing nuts. So we've got the first one there. It's nice and tight. Tighten the other wing nut. Okay. And so what that does is makes this nice and sturdy. Now, if you want, you can use half of the, if you want to paint smaller, up to 13 inches, you just use half of it. But if you want to paint uh, all the way up to the full 30 inches, then you, you definitely need to assemble that together. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just slide on the top and bottom canvas holder. You just put one at the top here, and then tighten this top a little bit. And then you take the bottom one, slide it up here, now there's also a tripod, so the tripod mount is right here and that's where it's most stable. Uh, but if you uh, want to keep, this is an optional tripod mount here if you want to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the tripod and unscrew the quick plate. So there's a little button here. This is for uh, the tripod that's the N65C. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw on the quick plate. And what I'd recommend is actually even uh, taking the Allen wrench that comes with your tripod and tightening that further. Then uh, this gets really nice and tight and so there's no spinning that goes on. Uh, I find that's really important. So you just have that, use that little Allen wrench. Okay, so now we got the mast assembled. Um, just wanna talk about the, the tray. Now, the tray, these two hooks go around the tripod and um, we have different slots. So you can remove this and put this in uh, this slot or the, this slot and that slot if you have a, a smaller tripod. Um, our tripods that, that go uh, well with um, the Mark II, it's, we, we have that recommendation on our site. So I assume you got that tripod. Um, either the N65C or the BC285. Uh, both of them can work well. Um, so now I oh, take the tripod legs, open it up. Okay, we're just finishing tightening up uh, all the legs. Okay, so it's nice and tight. Now what we do is we raise the center column up. Okay. And uh, what I like to do is uh, loosen this knob here so I can move the uh, uh, ball head into position, this, this plate. And I'll show you how that's going to work here in a second. So if you have a, um, a little bit smaller tripod versus a larger one, uh, in the manufacturer uh, comes with it mounted on this outer one. But if you need to put it in the inner one, what you do is you go reach under and hold on to the uh, wing nut and just undo uh, the knob there and then slide or slide the wing nut in to the other slot and then uh, just put it back and, and screw it tight there now you now you have it in this slot and what you want to do is um, what you do to one side you, you want to do it on the other side so it stays balanced and so what I'm going to do is uh, slide it over into this slot as well okay so now you have it on these inner slots. And uh, for this uh, tripod, for the NC65, or N65C, it's just better to have it on that inner slot. And then it sits nicely um, at a nice height. And one of the advantages of this uh, type of system where you have the mast separate from the box is one is you get to you know paint, you can do much larger paintings this way. Uh, but the other advantage is that you can um, uh, also have your palette low and your your uh, canvas up high so that you can do almost sight size. So if you're painting like a model or a still life or a landscape where it's 
you want to just capture what's eye level, uh, this system uh, is really nice for that. So I'm just undoing the, the quick plate here. I push this little button here so that I can slide this in. And then I go ahead and tighten this, the knob that uh, tightens quick plate. Okay, then I can kind of use the ball head to move this into position. Okay, so it's nice and level and solid. Okay, so now we got the mast in place. And with these uh, hooks, the we've got the uh, tray sitting here. Now what we do is we open up the uh, two side trays. So we put that one here and this one here. And we're basically uh, set and ready to paint. If we need to adjust this to go a little bit higher, we can we can paint something that's really small, or we can come down here, you know, and get get a little tiny canvas if we want. Again, you you only have to use half the mast if if uh, you want to paint something smaller, up to 13 inches tall. Uh, but then you know we go big and we go 30 inches. So that's essentially how you set up the the tripod. Now, if you uh, want to close it. What you do is you have these little tabs here. So as you're closing the shelf, you put it in. This little tab goes into the little groove right there. Okay, so we put the trays on there. Then we lift this up and off. And what we do is put these tabs on, and so that actually closes the shelf. So it locks it in place. So that's nice and clean, and it goes into a backpack really easily without a lot of stuff hanging off of the, the knobs. And... Um, then to take, remove this, we undo uh, the knob here and we push this little uh, release button and, and slide that off. And uh, if you want to, you know, for easy storage, I usually just unscrew these and then um, take these off and then it just kind of folds um, back down to uh, the components that we had at the beginning. So it's a really nice, simple, easy way, lightweight uh, system that allows you to paint uh, quite large out in the field or in the studio. If you have any uh, questions, uh, please leave uh, comments in the uh, field below and uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe. And if you have uh, other questions, email us at info at stratadesigns.com and uh, we'll uh, get to your questions as soon as we can. Thank you.